Is there a temple in here? Hall of Wisdom? Wait, this is the library. Where am I going to find Serioni? Leave me. Annoying outlanders. This is not it. Let's not meet. side. We'll go over here and see what this is. Caden offices? High fade. Let's go to the Canaan offices, I guess. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Where would Serioni be if I was Serioni? Where would I be? The We're watching you. Out in this hallway. Scum. We're watching you. I'm sure there's someone else you can bother. Speedcraft. I want that book. Watch yourself. Shit. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Does this that person slave? know? Here not long ago. Did you want to meet the Arch Caden? Yes. The Arch Caden is in his private quarters and he very much wishes to speak with you, but I warn you, avoid confrontations with the Ordinators at all costs. The Arch Caden has spoke with the High Fane Ordinators, but if you are a wanted criminal, they may try to arrest you. With the blood of faithful servants of the temple is spilled. It will make a reconciliation all that more difficult. But where's his private quarters? We're in the southern half of the eastern east chapel of the High Fane, but there are ordinators at the entrances at both east and west chapels. There's a private back entrance to Serioni's private quarters. You might also sneak past the ordinators by stealth or magic. Highly trained and uh, sneaking past the meaning. 80 by magic. Uh, be very difficult. Yeah. Back entrance. A door on the east, eastern canal side level. Eastern canal side level. Leads through a smaller room and into Serioni's private quarters. But the door is always locked in the ordinator's control key, so I can pick the lock. Eastern Canal Side. So, like here.
this one? Where does what does it say? Southern half of the East Chapel of the High Fane. I'm in the East Chapel. That's Annoying nice outlanders. Temple's doctrine on the Derevery. Perhaps it is time to change that doctrine. The Temple must protect the people from false doctrines, and your association with Imperial t Intelligence makes your motivations and integrity suspect. But you have been chosen Hortator and Derevery by the Dunmer people, and we have reached a crisis with Dagoth Ur. We can no longer defend the people against the Awakened Sixth House. You and your prophecies may represent our last hope. Our situation is desperate. I'd rather you have you hear the details of our situation and circumstances leading up to that situation from Lord Vivek himself. He has asked to see you. Would you agree to a private meeting with him and hear in person what he has to say? Yes. Okay. Um, is that thing going to come after me? Good. Here are two keys. One to the private back entrance of my quarters. The other a locked entrance to the Lord Vi Lord Vivek's palace. I regret that at present the ordinators are not completely under my control. So for now I'll have to ask you to avoid confrontations with them. Lord Vivek is expecting you. Uh, His Lordship is remarkably patient. But perhaps it would be better not to keep him waiting. Alright. Oh shit. I can make it. Oh hell yeah, I came out the north side, but fuck it. Well, they're not coming after me. Why last freaking ever? All right, now we're here. Was there something else? Business. When I was like you. I was very impatient, so I will keep our business short. But later, there may be a time for other things. First, I propose to remove my curse. I propose to remove my curse upon the forever. End the persecution of the dissident priests and proclaim that all Omar wanted to carry a piece of the incarnate and forever. Prophecy the Savior of Marwan, and last hope to the state of the menace of Dagoth Ur and the Sixth House. These things I will do whether you wish or not. Next, I propose to surrender to you the power and responsibility of defeating Dagoth Ur. You may choose to refuse, I will not compel you. Receive the power as a gift in the form of an artifact called Wraith Guard. You may accept the gift, then do with it as you will. You will receive the responsibility as an oath. You may give your oath, then keep it or break it as you like. First, will you accept the Wraith Guard as a gift? Yes. Good, since we'll have you. Now you will give your oath before all gods and men, before all spirits visible and invisible. My honor and your honor. 
to dedicate yourself in race guard to the defeat and destruction of Dagoth or the preservation of all the people. Yes, I so swear. Not very sensible, but very good. I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitations about making such an oath. You will now have a brief momentary sensation of time passing. Don't be alarmed, you are being taken out of time in order to avoid the unpleasant experience of learning how to use the brain power. It be over before. There's brief sensa sensation of motion in total darkness, floating, but without a sense of weight or direction. You know it now. I will notify the temple that you are our champion. There shall be no more persecution of the distant priests. And I hope both sides shall, shall swiftly be reconciled. We have time for questions if you like, or you may leave as you wish. But I think there are at least two things you ought to know before you leave. How to use Ra Wraith Guard and how to defeat Dagoth Earth. Well, I'm going to save because I just read a whole bunch of stuff.